This is a power line ethernet adapter, but how does it work and how fast does it go? We're gonna find out. But first I need to explain how it works. So your house's wiring transmits electricity. We know this, it's how we power our devices. It transmits it at a certain frequency. This transmits at a bit of a different frequency. So it transmits the signals across the electrical wiring because electrical wiring is all the same. So this just takes advantage of that and allows you to use your house's wiring as ethernet. Pretty simple. So the main question is how fast does it go? And that's what we're gonna find out today. Let's get into it. Uh, the reason I'm buying this is because my dad has his office in under the stairs. And that place particularly doesn't get good reception. And it also doesn't have an ethernet port. Because why would you put ethernet under the stairs? That makes no sense. So we're gonna be using this to see if we can get a good connection in a very bad place with reception. I don't know what I just said. A place with very bad reception. All right, so one end you plug next to the router and then you plug the ethernet cable into here. And then the other end, you plug wherever you want the signal to go and then plug the device into it. Pretty simple. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to test it with my computer. I already have an ethernet connection to my room. So we're going to see how much speed do you lose if you use a power line adapter? So uh, let's go get set up, shall we? Okay, so we're going to do two speed tests. We're going to do one with a Cat6 wire straight from my router to my computer, and then the second using the power line adapter. Let's get into the first one. All right, so here we go. We're gonna click the go, and let's see what the speeds are. All right, we have 11 ping, and 100 and uh, 200, 190 it seems. So, yeah, right around 180, 190 megabits per second on the download, and let's see the upload speed. All right, the upload speed looks like it's gonna be around 22, maybe 23, no, 22. Maybe 21, maybe 20? 20. 22. All right, so we have 177 on the download and 22 on the upload. So we're now gonna start using the power line and we're gonna see how that compares to this. All right, so I've just connected the power line adapter and we're gonna go see the speeds now. Alrighty. Let's see how well we do. Uh, it's loading, connecting, 16 ping. That's more than last time, I think we were at 11. And this one gets how much? Oh, 50, it's going to 50. It's actually doing pretty well. Surprisingly, for using the, the power lines, that's doing pretty good. So it looks like it gets to 80. 85, and then on the upload, can it push 20? Can it push 20? Oh, it got 20. Is it gonna get 22? Okay, it looks like the upload may be the same. It looks like it's gonna be 21. What was that pop up? So 85, 50, and 22.44. Pretty good, pretty good. So based on what we got from the first test, it's doing pretty well comparing to the Cat6 wire. I mean, the Cat6 wire, I believe, got 140 or 110. I forgot which one it was. And this one got 85. So that's pretty good in comparison, at least. And I think it's a pretty good buy. Um, if you don't have an ethernet cable, it's a really good alternative. If you have thick brick walls and you can't get a Wi-Fi signal anywhere, it's a great way to get some internet in basically every room. All right, uh, that's everything I wanted to talk about for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as it helps the channel and ring the notification bell because um, you get notified when we post new videos. I'm not sure why I said we, it's just me. Or is it?
All right. Peace.